And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Farron Ledros control. Uh, last deck of the day, we got a donation deck where we have a Nox Noxus Shadow Isles control deck. Not something you see too often, but there are a lot of good removal spells in those uh, regions. Our early game is all about the spiders to, to help play some defense. You know, Elise, House Spider, Vile Feast, Arachnoid Sentry. So we got our, our spider stuff to play some early defense and put out some threats also against other control decks. Um, want to have, have these things do a little bit of damage. You know, sometimes like a Vile Feast or a House Spider will do a little bit of damage. And that helps out Ravenous Flock and um, Noxian Guillotine. And then whenever these little things, you know, we, we chump block with them, whenever they die, we have like Black Spears turned on after some of these spiders die. Um, but then besides that, you know, like our other, like the normal Shadow Owls removal with Grasp, Withering Whale in the mid game, the box is a pretty sweet sweeper against uh, against a lot of decks, especially against like elusive type decks, um, your Green Glade Duo decks, card's awesome there. But there's some times where the box gets kind of awkward in hand, so it's just, a, it's a really good one of. And then our top end that's finishing the games out. We got uh, Hecarim as our other champion to go with Elise. Then we got one Rekindler that can bring back Hecarim. Or, you know, maybe bring back an Elise, especially like a leveled up Elise. Uh, so we got those. But then what are our, our decks named after? We have Captain Farron and Commander Ledros finishing out games. Because, you know, Captain Farron, you can play this, put some Decimates in hand. And then Commander Ledros, you play this, cut the enemy's life total in half, so then they go down to 10 if you haven't dealt any damage before, and then you can finish them off the next turn with your decimates that you got. So pretty cool uh, little combination here with Captain Farron and Commander Ledros uh, being some epics finishing the game. All right, so let's go play some games. So we're gonna go play five games over in Ranked. Let's go over here, Farron Ledros Control. And let's get started. Deck's a little different. Should be a fun one. And it's starting off right away against the Elusives. Hopefully the box. There's a card we draw and a card that does a lot for us. Let's mulligan these two. So getting rid of the grass because at five mana it's kind of expensive. Could keep the three mana three two. Um, honestly, maybe I should keep the three mana three two because it's, it's a good card to stun Zed if they have turn three Zed and they they have the attack token. Then I can have turn three uh, thing to stun it. But we have a calling strike now instead, which that's even better against Zed. Good trade. Before Navori Conspirator keeps picking up Omen Hawk. You want to get that off the battlefield. <laughs> no, no Poros today. Hey, Krabby. I did not play any face. Poros today. They'll never see us coming. Mm. I was hoping they're gonna play another thing, and then I was gonna be able to the box. The problem with Culling Strike is Twin Disciplines. They can go plus three, plus zero, and then I'm taking six suddenly instead of taking just three. Take the damage was an option. It was an option. Eyes open. Watch your branches. All right, so I could go the box and kill all of those, <clears throat> but Withering Whale basically kills all those anyway, and Withering Whale allows us to Ravenous Flock Green Glade Duo. Oh, 
I'd like them to play another one of those. That thing stays alive through the box. Follow my lead. Mm. Taking three. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Everything's better with company. Says you. Not taking the trade. Without a sound. The balance wills it. That will cut deep as any weapon. It will all be over soon. <clears throat> So if they go Twin Disciplines, save, <clears throat> save Zed. We're just taking like an additional three damage. It's okay. I don't. I don't need to block. You know, send Elise in to die if that's the case. Does another seven damage. Only the survive. Here's another scary. Hopefully we can stabilize. Keep running, Kay. And yeah, I wish I would have blocked with the lease and saved that damage. Still a turn away from being able to play Aledros. It's a good draw. This works. Okay, not dead yet. anything uh, 
This is going to be tough to get out of this one. I can't like attack with the lease, ha let it die, and then crawling sensation, because then this will turn back into a lease. Um. I guess one of my better chances is that my opponent makes a weird block. It's too late for you. Darn. Like maybe they don't block a lease. I mean, this this does open up Withering Whale, I suppose. Now Withering Whale is an option. Yep, GGs. That Zed was too good with the Fury of the North and, you know, with protecting it twice in that one turn. Uh, being able to have Fury of the North and the Barrier. Both. Alright, Ledros, just go away. We don't need you until super late game, Ledros. Just go away. Uh, this is not not ideal. All, against all Demacy, I'm going to keep a Ruination. There we go, that's a good card. Guillotine, box, I like both of those. Things that can't be two for ones. Yeah, we went, uh, yeah, Fiora went through the gauntlet and got us to the seven wins. Almost didn't, we, we were like two and one and then our opponent should have killed us, but, uh, didn't and we won a game we didn't deserve winning. And so because of that, we got to keep playing and kept on winning. Won the rest of them. Grizzled Ranger, slow down. We must all make sense. See if they would play, you know, if they would inter if they would uh, react play something else. Everything I've worked okay, cool. Got Fiora out here. Level up Elise. Let's go to have that leveled up for like our rekindler and everything later. And for that Elise. For justice! For Demacia! Try this. I, I don't think I can kill the bear and the Garen, unless I unless I want to have a lease block the bear. So that was their card they had. Salute. 
<clears throat> hmm. So if we go, I don't know, we've got, you know, we have some options. I don't love attacking in and then Nocturne and guillotining the two things because that levels up Garen, and so I don't love leveling up Garen. So I think I want to just vengeance the Garen. Yeah, now, now once they have that thing, I'm going to go for Ruination. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not, I'm not going to risk them going straight to combat after this. Have vengeance last turn. Should have vengeance. After they played Radiant Guardian. It's my bad, yeah, my my play not good against Unyielding Spirit. For sure. I can't, uh... I can't beat a Garen. A leveled up Garen like that. Alright, playing against Deep, unfortunately don't need any of these cards, any of those opening cards against the deep deck. more Elysee modes. It's my favorite emote and favorite thing to say, Elysee mode. this. Saving Vile Feast to be able to pair with Guillotine. <clears throat> be able to use Vile Feast and like this other stuff with Guillotine. Out. 
from the darkness. Draw Hecarim. Yeah, basically these two together, yeah, you get five mana vengeance. Which is pretty nice. Alright, that abyssal eye needs to go. Nothing wrong with using the box as one, one for one removal. Nothing, <coughs> nothing wrong with that. That's something that our deck just doesn't have. These regions just don't have card draw. We could have a yeah, glimpse beyond. Is what we could have for card draw. Alright, so they are deep. Turn seven. Nice, Alfredo. Yeah, you're almost there for a donation deck. See how handsome I do? The problem with using Noxian Guillotine is then I don't have an answer for... Nautilus, but if I don't, they're hitting me with a 6-6 that has elusive and draws cards. Like, that's not good. I guess I... Cast guillotine. I guess. Maybe there should be some spaces for Glimpse Beyond fit in here. I don't really know. I don't know exactly like what to take out for Glimpse Beyond. Should be some yeah let's take out i guess it's probably just like other just kind of it's probably just just smattering of removal spells you know like one of this removal spell one of this one of this kind of thing instead of playing three of like all, all the stuff like maybe just play two of three of them like whatever the whatever the three that have been uh have had the least impact from the darkness. Well, Vengeance is another answer to Nautilus, so that's good. No Nautilus. I will tend this garden. All 
All right, that's what our calling strikes for. It's for Maokai. That levels up Maokai, doesn't it? Oh, come on. That does. Do we have four cards to kill our opponent? They just have three cards left, all champions. In their deck. The, there's just one, yeah, there's one rekindler. You want to play a glimpse instead of that? It's okay. Rekindler is something that can actually be, you know, like more than just a one for one, though. You know, like it's, you know, you want to have things that can, that can be better than one for ones, and that's Rekindler. Seven, like, you know, seven mana for ideally Hecarim plus a four four plus a Hecarim, multiple bodies. Got some decimates. Scared of that. I couldn't play. I couldn't play like re I couldn't play vengeance with either of my threats though. I couldn't go. I don't know why I'm passing. I should just cast a decimate. Um. Yeah. So that's like that's the problem. You don't think I'm in a bad spot? I have I have two turns to win. If it wasn't for like Maokai eliminating my deck, I wouldn't be in a bad spot. If it wasn't for that, we'd be feeling a little bit better. I have one card left. So it makes my life more difficult. Two Nautilus and one Maokai down. We're going to have more of each of those. Have to kill them next turn. Seems unlikely. If we had one more card, one more card here, one more turn. Ledros this turn to take eight and then, you know, untap, double decimate. Well, I mean, this is our only way to win is by playing this and then they can't play a single card in their hand and then we attack. Maybe they can't play a single card in their hand.
I mean, they're like out of cards also. We're out of cards. I guess I could have attacked and maybe they forgot to block something. Unlikely. Pretty unlikely. Alright, it's a better matchup for us. <laughs> Get this stuff. Um, just because, you know, when you have a pile of Vile Feasts and Withering Whales, like we did that, you're not beating you're not beating deep with a pile of Vile, vile Feasts and Withering Whales, and that's what we had last game. This game, we want the pile of Vile Feasts and Withering Whale. We would love to have that, so that's why I was saying a better matchup, but now we mulligan into 8-drop, <laughs> 9-drop. No one's the wiser. They'll never see it coming. That's good. They like said we should win versus aggro, but I mean, we also have a lot of cards that are not good against aggro. Unfortunately, we could draw those potentially. So no, this is not a very good trade for me, but if they go straight to combat, we at least traded and got the extra 1-1, one, one. you know, like it's, we basically, they dealt two damage to us, but we got a 1-1. One, one. I can do this. I mean, I can, I can take all this and basically then have Withering Whale cl clear up everything and then we still have the Vile Feast. Um, afterwards. Let's see. This is me taking... I mean, I block here, so I would take three, four, five, six. I'd go down to nine. And then Withering Whale would kill all their stuff and I'd have a bunch of spiders. And I'd get five mushrooms. This route means I'm not going to be attacking them as much. Yeah, all, all decks, uh, yeah, I always upload everything to YouTube. Hmm. Yeah, everything always gets uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, the, the Fiora deck will be uh, 6 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning is whenever that one's going to be uploaded. Um, if you just want the deck list... It's in there. You have to search for it a little bit. Uh, you gotta, it's in, it's in there. You gotta scroll down. It's from like 14 days ago or so. You, you have to just, you have to scroll. You, I'd recommend just scrolling down a lot and then Control F and uh, looking for it that way because it's a deck that we've played before. Uh, 
All right, double transfusion. Gonna make this more difficult. Um, getting rid of that thing though, so it doesn't get to attack and, and do the two damage to me on attacks. Still taking four from Big Spida here. Elise is a good draw because Elise levels up. So now is um, four, four power, so it's fearsome. So we get to block the 2 1 fearsome. Let's make it deep. Hands off the merch. This game's not over. I would say my, we don't we don't know exactly what they have in hand. This game's not over. Not at all. Now it looks good for us that they use the Mystic Shot on Elise and not on us. Alright, good job, Baron. There we go. In, in the win column. <clears throat> in the win column. All right, and we got the double plunder deck. Sure, I'll keep all this. The deck that's trying to turn on a, a plunder, leveling up by dealing damage to the enemy nexus. So basically we're gonna do a lease on two and then either you know, like one of these two on three depending on which one we want. That was the one card I didn't want them to play on turn two. So they got it. We have some good cards to nab. It could be taking Ledros or, Fight or die. Captain Farron, you know, our, our namesake cards. Yeah, that's a good combo. Sent Sentry plus Ravenous Block, that's a good combo. Two out of five for both of those. I'll make corpses of them all. This is gonna work out just fine 
Withering Whale plus Ravenous Flock. We get two for one, but we get the Gangplank Champion out of there without us taking damage. That's going to work out just fine. And now we got Hecarim. Thank you. I'll cut my name in uh, I will take that. That works. Now Guillotine kills Gangplank, because since they blocked. Ooh, or I can just let let these trade and then rekindle her back. Tough call. Oh, I guess this gets back leveled up. Oh no, Elise was not leveled up because they killed Elise before she leveled up. Hmm. I have Captain Farron next turn. Get bloody. Hmm. I think they're just passing back to me. Probably right. right? So good. So I think I just go straight to attacks and then and then play Captain Fair in post combat and get a bunch of decimates. Oh, you saw a black spear? You could see what they drew. You saw they drew, drew a black spear. Sometimes you can see I never really looked before. The, yeah, I mean, I guess Garen pre, or Farron pre combat I was thinking like they placed. Let's them play Sejuani and like frostbite my Farron, and then the Sejuani's bigger than the Hecarim. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I was thinking. There's plenty of killing left. Or that attack should should have them. I was thinking like they'd be like under eight. They're at four. It's even better. Okay, well if they had Black Spear, they would cast Black Spear right here, right? So I guess I guess it wasn't Black Spear. Right, they like they would have just played that. Okay, it was yeah, so it was vile. vile. Which that and Black Spear look very similar. If you have just a second glimpse at it, a millisecond glimpse. And they, they can't kill me, can they? If I cast Decimate right now? So it's safe to go Decimate, Decimate. So yeah, it's safe. Shadow Isles, I can't have Ravenous Butcher. 
and uh, we don't have Ravenous Butcher in our in our um, the thing they could have gotten I mean because well they also didn't have they didn't have Black Market Merchant either to make any of the cards they nabbed cost one less because like if they had a Black Market Merchant that would have nabbed like if that could have been a last card for me they could have had Ra Ravenous Flock and Ravenous Flock would have killed my 4-3 and then uh, you know, if I would have gone decimate, could have got punished there. But we could always, if they if they'd have a card like that, we could pivot and then have uh, and then vile feast, and so we'd be fine. Uh, yeah. So changes. So yeah, glimpse. Um, probably don't need the second ruination. Like you do, there's just so much removal in here already. It, I felt like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think we need a second ruination. Just have the one. That's fine. Um, especially if you're drawing more cards. If you get glimpse beyonds in here, to get card draw. The thing about glimpse is we don't. People aren't usually using a lot of their early remove. Uh, no, yeah, no, Glimpse is good. Um, no, Alfredo, we made it the final boss in the gauntlet and lost. Oh, that's the worst. We did that before with the Vladimir Braum. That's the worst, because then you don't, you know, you only get the one shot. Yeah, I, I think that we should just be having Glimpses, especially how we can make a bunch of, like, little blockers and stuff. Yeah, we should, we should just be playing glimpses. So you could you can take out one ruination. Uh, a rekindler could go, um, or maybe we just take out a couple other removal spells since we'll be drawing in to more removal spells. Um, No, the box was good for us. I like I like the box. I think this is a great one of. I wouldn't I would not pl I would play one of. I would play the one the box. I don't think I wouldn't play two. I think it's a perfect one of. And it was really good in different at different times. Yeah, especially with you said you said you had Noxion Fervor before. I I don't really like Noxion Fervor, because I if you want to have your things block and die, I like how they block and die. I think like Glimpse Beyond's like a better card to have than Noxion Fervor most of the time. Um We use spear we did use spear once, but yeah, we could we could definitely trim a spear. We don't need two. Could play one. That could be another card. So we took so now we're down to forty one. But yeah, it's not it's not something you can have a ton of. Black Spear, that is. <sighs> Could be Ravenous Flock. Uh, Could be re maybe it's Rekindler. I you know I haven't I haven't loved having three Ledros. Like I I didn't really like three Ledros at all in our deck. I felt you know, like we had some games like where we just had two Ledros early on. I still probably say it's that. Especially like all these Hecarims kill them. Yeah, and we're you're drawing more cards now with the glimpse beyond. So yeah, get rid of a Ledros. Yeah, two Ledros. There you go. Trim trim some of the top end whenever you have more card draw. That makes sense. Okay. So yeah, that's probably that's probably the thing to, to change. Is just get glimpses in there so we can you can sacrifice like whenever they use removal on your stuff, you can sacrifice it. Um. You know they go Will of Ionia on your Hecarim. You can. Use Glimpse Beyond to sacrifice it, so then Rekindler brings it back. Um, yeah, same thing. You can... Yeah, get some Glimpse Beyonds. Yeah, I think there's some stuff here. I, It's similar to, but I didn't like it as much as Vladimir Hecarim. So we played the other day. I kind of liked this better, which, you know, this had all the Glimpse Beyonds too. I think I think that's that maybe was a big big thing that we were missing honestly the deck could feel a lot different with having glimpse beyonds in it um but yeah it's kind of it's kind of like this uh 
Um, where are you at, Farron Ledros? Yeah, card draw. Card draw is is pretty important, especially when you're when you're playing a bunch of different answers. So having having the correct answers at the correct time. Uh, yeah, that that could make a big difference having having these glimpse beyonds. But there we go. Yeah, it's always always fun playing different stuff. And uh, yeah, we get the spiders and the epics at the top end. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with two, two and three, you know, right there. Yeah, we, we definitely played a lot of close games, and those Glimpse Beyonds could have made a big difference. Um, you know, we got, like, the Unyielding Spirited that one time, that and all that other kind of stuff. Like, yeah, well, it's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how you like those Glimpse Beyonds. You know, leave those comments. I always like uh, getting the, the feedback from y'all on YouTube. Uh you know, like how the decks go and everything. So I have uh, some more information on changes and uh, what to play next and everything like that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Farron Ledros Control, and I'll see you for the next video.